Hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be cooking a Turkish inspired dish, stuffed courgette. The little trick is we're going to be using some Turkish dried red pepper flakes. Really delicious and they really make the dish. But if you haven't got these, just use some chilli flakes, but not quite so many. So without further ado, let's crack on. We're going to need some courgettes. I've got two lovely courgettes here. You don't want them too small, just a nice size for cutting in half really. About three cloves of garlic, one whole white onion which is going to be fairly finely chopped, some tomato paste, probably going to need one tablespoonful, and we need some mince. Well I've got lamb mince, but you can use beef if you want, about a pound in weight. We're going to need some seasoning, some salt and pepper, also we're going to need a drop of cooking oil. In this case I'm going to be using olive oil, and we're going to use some dried mint, about one teaspoon, some pomegranate molasses, and one tin of chopped tomatoes, one tin of chickpeas that are going to be drained, and these are a little special treat. One teaspoon of Turkish red pepper flakes. If you haven't got these, use chili flakes, but not so many. So here I have my pan on the hob with a medium heat. I'm going to add my olive oil, pour some of that in. Then of course I'm going to go in with the onions. I want to soften these down, make them a little bit sort of caramelised if you like. A little, few little brown tinges and that look pretty good to me. When they've softened down nicely it's time to add our garlic. We don't want this in there for too long, just a couple of minutes so it doesn't burn and get a bitter taste. Then our next step is going to be to add the lamb mince. As I said before, you can use beef if you want, but in this occasion I want to use lamb. So in that goes, I've broken it up quite a bit. We're going to give this a good mix around. Now we want to cook this down until it, all that pink has gone. Can you see all that pink? And then it ends up looking like this. So then it's ready. Next step, some seasoning. Of course we need some seasoning. Go in with quite a bit of pepper. I do love my pepper. And some salt. I'll have that too. Now it's time to go in with our tin of chopped tomatoes, followed by our tin of chickpeas that have been drained. And now we're going to go in with our pomegranate molasses. This is so flavoursome. I'm going to put two tablespoonfuls in. Then I'm going to go in with one tablespoonful of tomato paste or tomato puree and one teaspoon of red pepper flakes. One teaspoon of dried mint. Give this a real good mix together and incorporate all of those delicious flavours. Pop the lid on and we're going to let this simmer for about 30 minutes. While that's simmering away nicely on the stove, I'm going to get on with the courgettes. I'm going to cut those right down the middle, through the stalk, I'm going to leave the stalk on at the moment, and then using a spoon, I'm going to hollow each one out. It's a little bit tricky, but when you're finished, they're going to be looking like this. Next step, put them into an oven dish and you're going to fill each one with this delicious lamb filling. It doesn't matter if a little bit spills over, it all adds to the taste. So then it's off to the oven, gas mark 5 for about 30 minutes but make sure that the courgettes are cooked right the way through. Then you end up with them looking like this. I'm going to serve this up with some tzatziki sauce of which I have made a video, I'll put the link down below, and also some really tasty couscous. Believe me guys, this is not one to miss. Thanks for watching this latest video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so, and I'm already looking forward to seeing you again in the next video. Bye for now.